Hi, I'm Kelly. And I'm Molly. And welcome to our very first Naughty Knit Box reveal. Most of our subscribers have already received it, but we, would, we thought it would be fun for those of you who are maybe on the fence to get a look at what we're doing here. Okay, so here we go. Yeah. Okay, so every month delivered to your door, you will get this beautiful box. So, we have, in January, we have our yarn, which is Madeline Tosh, Tosh Merino White. So it comes with one skein of that, and it comes with your goodie bag, so, and your pattern booklet. So inside your goodie bag, this is the fun part. <laughs> you have a project bag, a naughty lady project bag. Okay, I'm gonna close this. It's getting kind of annoying. <laughs> okay. So inside your project bag, you have more goodies. So inside, we have some handmade stitch markers by one of our favorite naughty ladies, Susie Ann. She is a regular in our store. She's also Maisie's best couch She's her favorite couch bunny. So those were made by Susie Ann. We have a free single-use pack of eucalyn, which is amazing. We have some lip balm from, uh, I always have the hardest time remembering this, Two Sisters. Herbs and Sundries. This is locally done here in the Umpqua Valley by Sierra, who also works part-time at Naughty Lady Yarns. Amazing stuff, all natural, vegan. She uses all natural ingredients. It's amazing. I go through a ton of lip glosses and hands down my favorite one I've ever found. There you go. And then a tea bag mm -hmm. from uh, Stephen Smith Tea Makers. They are located in Portland, Oregon. Two wonderful facilities in downtown Portland. You can see the whole production line. It's really, really cool to see their facilities. Okay, so this one happens to be my favorite flavor. It's the white petal. Oh, so good. What's your favorite? Uh, it's hard. And I, I do it? really like the white petal. There's a, a green tea that I'm, another green tea that I'm spacing that I really love too. So yeah. Great teas, Oregon based. We love it. So those are your goodies. Um, so now we wanted to take you through our book, the pattern book that you get in every box. So in the pattern book, you have a knit pattern and a crochet pattern. And since everybody's gotten their boxes already, we give you a sneak peek of what your finished product will look like. So I'm going to go over the knit one. Molly's our crocheter, so she's going to go over the crochet pattern tell you, give you any insights, tell you if there's any little quirky things with the pattern. Um, yeah, anything that you came across while you were making your beautiful shawl. Okay, so my, the knit pattern is the Ghost Garden Shawlette. It is by Colleen Kennersley. She is from Canada. She's from the Canadian one, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, absolutely love the pattern. It is well written. It's fun. Uh, it's a fun, quick knit. And I think that we paired it beautifully with the Tosh Marina Light. This is the one that we, I made up here for the store. And this was out of the Silver Fox colorway. Um, you can really see the design. Yeah. The pattern design in it. Yeah, and I love how um, how it made up with the tunnels. Yeah, just so. Anyway, great pattern, very well written. Uh, absolutely no issues with it whatsoever. Yeah, I was kind of the same way with the crochet pattern um, by our lovely designer Tamara Kelly. Um, big shout out to both of them. They've been fantastic to work with. I'm very excited to do this journey with us. Um, so Tamara Kelly made up the uh, fortune shawlette. Um, it reminded her, uh, or her husband told her that it reminded him of diamond plating. And so when you block it out, 
um, it does kind of look like diamond plating. And with the crochet, you actually will start here at the point. Most shawls, shawls that I've tried to make, you start up here at the top. And they always kind of work up kind of funky. But I love how this one made up from the bottom up. I have no issues. This was a really fun, kind of simple, once you get the, the rhythm, you just kind of get a groove going and just cruise right away. Um, and then she has this really nice border that helps incorporate, like you can't, for me, I can tell since I made it up, but you can kind of, I don't know, the border she did very, very well, which sometimes they can look wonky. So, um, really simple, easy to follow through. I had no issues, I had fun with it, and it walked out great. It did, it walked out beautifully. Again, the tonal effect on this gives it a little shimmer. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And it's been, been a hit in the store. Yeah, I love it. Okay. <laughs> so, thanks for watching our first box reveal. We'll do this every month. Um, please, please, please post your finished products either to, to our social media, your social media, both. And please use the hashtag Naughty Knit Box. And let's spread the word. This is, this is fun. Yeah. So, bye. Have a great day.